an increase in risky sexual behaviors, and a notable decline in the use of condoms and other measures to provide the spread of HIV and AIDS, suggest that persons have lowered their guard. This is perhaps due to the fact that the sexually transmitted disease is no longer considered a death sentence. Public Health Minister Dr. George Norton is warning against this. We cannot throw caution to the wind and uh, forget that it is the same AIDS virus that came from the begin beginning is around and has the same effect. Dr. Shanti Singh Anthony of the National AIDS Program Secretariat gave an update on how many people in the country are living with HIV and AIDS. The last estimation that came out of the Guyana's program it shows that we have approximately 7,800 people living with HIV, which really translates roughly to a prevalence about 1.3%. It was pointed out that over the last five years, there has not been any increase in the number of new cases coming into the Ministry of Public Health. We're still seeing that about 80% of our cases actually come from the adult working population of about 20 to 45, 49 years of age. As PANCAP, the Pan-Caribbean Partnership Against HIV and AIDS launched a knowledge management initiative this morning Stakeholders stressed the need for the re-emergence of the AIDS prevention fight by social groups like artists in direct support. Rihanna Amat, Safe TV2 Headline News.